Hey, God bless wherever you're at and whatever time you're catching this uh, daily reminder. We want to encourage you just to hang with us for a few minutes. Uh, again, the thought daily reminder, there's different verses in the scripture that we love here at New Hope City Church that really encourage us to just go back and to lay hold of again and again and again those truths that the Holy Spirit's brought out and he's taught us. One of them is in Philippians 3 verse 1, Paul writing to the church of Philippi. He says, finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same thing to you again, for me to communicate this, for us to talk about this again, for me to write the same thing to you, for me it's not grievous, it's not tedious. And then he says this, and I love this, and he says, for you it's safe. And so we, we love revelation, we love when the Lord begins to unfold and unveil and dig things up out of the scripture, and yet we are encouraged to continually hang on to and lay hold of the things that, uh, that he's already taught us. So we've been in the book of uh, 1 Samuel in the 17th chapter, the account of David and Goliath. And the last few times we've been together, uh, we've looked at verses 41 and 42. I actually want to do that again today and just bring out just um, another thought uh, from, from those verses. So again, and again, we've, the last couple of times we've been here, we've read these verses. The Bible says this, So the Philistine came and began drawing near to David. And the man who bore his shield went before him, and when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, he despised him is the language, for he was only a youth, we've talked about that. He was ruddy and good looking. And so um, I just want to give you this, this thought today. The word ruddy, uh, very interesting, certainly a King Jamesy word, um, but the word ruddy, actually you can find it in Webster's Dictionary, it means red. The word red, or the word ruddy just means red, whether it's the complexion, uh, whether it's the hair, it means it means red. I want you to understand this. Just as the Bible said that Goliath despised, he disdained David because he was ready, I want you to know the enemy just hates you because every time he looks at you, all he sees is red. Every time the devil looks at you, he sees red. What are we talking about? Listen to this. First John chapter 1 and verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. I want you to know you are who you are, redeemed, washed, being regenerated. You are who you are because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I, Christ. I love the word cleanses because when you look at it in the Greek language, it is in what we call the present tense or the present ongoing tense. So this is what it means. Jesus knew every decision you and I would make, every choice we would make, every time we went left when we should have went right, every time we should have gone here but we went there. He knew every mistake, every sin that we would commit and he still chose us to be in him. Born again, blameless, the sons and daughters of God, you find that in Ephesians 1, before we were ever born, he chose us. So he has cleansed our sin, he is cleansing us, and he will again tomorrow cleanse us. He'll keep us cleansed. He is cleansing. The power of the blood of Jesus is ongoing. Once again, he cleansed me, he is cleansing me, he will cleanse me. That's the power of the blood of Jesus. When the enemy sees you, he sees red. He sees the covenant that you and I have with the Father because of Jesus Christ. A couple more verses. Listen to this. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. That's Ephesians 1 and verse 7. One more. We have been redeemed with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. 1 Peter 1 and verse 19. Yes, the devil does hate you. It's been one of the reasons is this, because every time he sees you, every time he sees us, uh, me, every time he sees us, he sees red. He sees the result of the flow of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time.